electric field of a continuous charge distribution. Very often the distances between charges in a group of charges are much smaller than the distance from the group to some point of interest, for example, a point where the electric field is to be calculated. In such situations, the system of charges is smeared out or continuous. That is, the system of closely spaced charges is equivalent to a total charge that is continuously distributed along some line over some surface or throughout some volume. First, we divide the charge distribution into small elements, each of which contains a small charge delta Q as shown in figure. Next, we use the equation to calculate the electric field due to one of these elements at a point P. Finally, we evaluate the total field at P due to the charge distribution by summing the contributions of all the charge elements, that is, by applying the superposition principle. The electric field at P due to one element carrying charge delta Q is delta E is equal to K delta Q by R square R cap, where R is the distance from the element to point P and R cap is a unit vector directed from the charge element toward P. The total electric field at P due to all elements in the charge distribution is approximately E is equal to K sigma delta QI by RI square RI cap where the index I refer to the ith element in the distribution because the charge distribution is approximately continuous in the limit delta qi tends to zero e is equal to k limit qi gives rise to naught sigma delta qi by ri square ri cap is equal to k integration of dq by r square r cap where the integration is over the entire charge distribution. This is a vector operation and must be treated appropriately. We illustrate this type of calculation with several examples in which we assume the charge is uniformly distributed on a line, on a surface or throughout the volume. When performing such calculations, it is convenient to use the concept of a charge density along with the following notations. If a charge Q is uniformly distributed throughout a volume V, the volume charge density rho is defined by rho is equal to Q by V, where rho has units of Coulomb per meter cube. If a charge Q is uniformly distributed on a surface of area A, the surface charge density sigma is defined by sigma is equal to Q by A, where sigma has units of coulombs per, per meter square. If a charge Q is uniformly distributed along a line of length L, the linear charge density lambda is defined by lambda is equal to Q by L, where lambda has units of coulombs per meter 